Greetings everyone and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad at the Spec Ops screen because as lots of people pointed out I failed to confirm blue blood uh, on the the legwork so uh, let's let's start this off by doing that thank you very much by the way everyone that uh, that would have been a bit annoying if I had uh, completely missed that but there we go legwork has been confirmed it's been uh, locked in blue blood is working for the next three days as is godmother uh, with training but it is finally time for us to get in there and take down the progeny. Now, let's have a quick look at this. The progeny are constructing a device atop the tallest building in Old Town. We think they intend to force a psionic evolution in humanity, but that theory is crackpot at best. Stop them before they hurt a lot of people. Minus three city an anarchy. Well, that's okay. That's very okay. In fact, I would be super happy with that one. And 40 credits as well. Okay, uh, we've got everyone set up as best we can, except for Verge, who does need some items, so let's make everything uh, available. Uh, you can have a laser sight, they've got nothing else to have there, nothing there. Um, Medipatch, since we've got terminal with us. Trank rounds as well, please, and indeed, thank you. It's a shame that we don't have the better armor, but uh, this is... What it is, but Verge does have Mind Flay. Again, to cover what that is, Verge lashes out with their mind, dealing mental damage to not all en uh, to all enemies on the neural network. Damage from Mind Flay will render enemies unconscious instead of killing them. So the more people we have in the neural network, which is something we want Verge to do, just because of the passive bonuses, then we dump that and we just m send a massive uh, psionic kind of feedback through the neural network and uh, smack everyone not well feedback's probably the wrong word that would imply it would smack verge but uh, you know what i mean very difficult only two projected encounters windows and doors so yes bringing the med patch is probably uh, probably a good one i would say uh we've got a breaching um a breaching charge and a med kit so we've got a lot of healing here we've got a lot of healing take down the progeny in all the town right verge we're gonna rely on you because uh, i strongly suspect we're gonna see an awful lot of uh, psionic shenanigans going on in this episode. More than usual, even. We knew the progeny were up to something, but not 60 floors up. Whatever okay. they're building isn't finished. We need to make sure it stays that way. Righto. It sounds like a bit of a bit of a uh, magneto moment, honestly. You know, try try and try and convert everyone to being mutants because yeah, that's how you stop mutants being persecuted. I mean, to be fair, Historically, there is a precedent for that, but at the same time, uh, ready for anything. All units through this entrance get plus fifty dodge for one round. So, um, if we sent talk through there, that would be fairly good. Uh, pinpoint successful shot on enemies will crit, and ready for anything. All units through here get fifty dodge. All right, all right. Uh, talk, and I'm gonna say verge because verge. I don't use your ability to shoot as much. Same with talk, really. Uh, and then we'll have Cherub and Terminal through next. I think this is good. As long as uh, Cherub can use his uh, Phalanx ability, then that's fine. Um, so, And all of our people get a chance to act on a breach before any enemy do. So it doesn't really matter where Cherub is in the order of things for that. And uh, we won't be able to throw in the holo targeting, but I'm fine with saving that for the next floor. Time to breach. Junk. There we go. Right, aggressive brute, not good times. Aggressive thrall, not bad. Um, Lurt sorcerer, aggressive resonant, and aggressive acolyte. Okay, you're gonna. Now that implies that they're gonna shoot at a VIP. Perhaps the only VIP through this breach point is Verge. But we absolutely want to take down your ability to do anything for now. Up you go. There we are. Because Verge is just exposed there. Massively, massively exposed. All right. Everyone over here is aggressive. We can't see the uh, Sorcerer, who I believe is possibly through there. Uh, we've got the Brute over there. We've got the Thrall up top. We could just take the Thrall out of this completely with that. And I feel inclined to do so. It's not going to stop them from shooting, but it will uh, take them down. I mean, I could follow up by shooting, actually. Honestly, with this many, many um, alert, there's a good reason for me to go for 
phalanx, honestly, because this is going to be a lot of damage dealt immediately. I'm generally not in favor of using phalanx early on. For aggressive enemies to turn... Um, sorry, enemies focus their fire on Cherub, ignoring other XOM units at this breach point. Block all damage and gain one charge for each attack. One use permission. If I use it now, then later on I can't use it. And but This is a guaranteed amount of, of damage. There's always, that, there's always that problem with all games, and this is something I always struggle with. It's the whole thing of going through some sort of, you know, generic uh, RPG romp, facing the final boss, and having a really hard fight of it. You come out the other side and realize your backpack, is, is, you have got no room for the epic loot because it's full of potions you could have been using in the fight, but you were always holding on to them just in case there was a worse time coming up. And it, it's, uh, yeah, I, I feel that I need to stop doing that. Right now, I can guarantee there's a lot of hurt coming our way, so let's use the bloody thing and uh, just just be done with it. Let's, uh, where are you, Acolyte? There we go. Phalanxing you, since you're right in front of us. There we are. Right, we've got a Thrall over there. Well, he got a reasonable chance of just taking you down, actually. Um, an Acolyte there, who we could bring within death, uh, Death's Reach fairly easily. An Acolyte over there, same deal, really. Uh, but we want one with a nice high chance to hit. You're the highest that we've got. Got a guaranteed crit, actually. We will kill you if we don't. Uh, or rather, was not well. See? Yeah. That just did not work. Interesting. Maybe it's because I had used that ability on the Acolyte. And so having taken the Acolyte out meant that we no longer had that. Oh, wow. What did we get? Uh, Informus? Enforcement? Seriously? That's interesting. Oh no, they're running. Ah, they're trying to flee. Oh, will this make the second engagement even worse then? Ooh, I think we don't want that, is what I'm thinking. That is 100% what I'm thinking. Um, battle madness on someone I am going to take down. That would be you. Go for it. There we are. Take a couple of shots, please. Not a bad shot, actually. You're going to go down in a moment. Uh, we can go for Stupa. Who's up next? It... Well, let's have a quick look at the turn order again. You're, you're automatically down. You're going to be going after talk. I could go for this Acolyte over yonder. Might not be a bad idea. Let's just remove you from the turn order, shall we? That being said, it might be better to go for someone who's trying to make an, uh, an exit. Uh, that resident or that brute would be a better one. No, I, I think ultimately we need to respect the turn order still. So let's go for a stupor on you. My mind chance. over yours. Actually, no, it's not 100%. You've got, uh, you're very strong, so it's 100% uh, base. But then it, it falls down a bit. Right, they can only shoot at this point. Oh no, actually, they can, well, they can attack. They can only attack. Right, you're down. Right then, talk. Uh, I could drop some poison over yonder. And if we hit right, that would be particularly nice. Right. Where's the next group? You're up. Ah, oh, that's going to be bad for... For... Virg. I really do need both of you to not be up anymore. This will probably take both of you down, actually, interestingly enough. Do it. Go on, take a deep breath. There we are. Both of them will go down now when they take their turn. Can I reach that brute? There's a big question. Can I possibly? No, I cannot possibly. Can I reach Verge? No, I can't. That is a big shame. That resonant, though, is going to be trying to make a move, but Verge is basically open for that brute. So that's. That did not go quite as well as I'd hoped, to be honest. Uh, resonant. If I draw you in, the sorcerer is last in the queue, so I can have more time to deal with the sorcerer. 
Yeah, let's pull this resonant in. Only sent three, but here. it's worth taking the chunk. There we are. And then a crunch, please. There we go. One down. Now, this is going to hurt a little bit. I am so sorry. I cannot focus on anything. Yikes. That That's did indeed hurt. At least. All right. Kinetic shield on talk, because then I don't have to worry about the psionics. Do it. Popping and blocking. Thank you. Now, that brute is going to be on the move in a moment. This one is exposed. I could knock you out rather than kill you, but you're going to deal with yourself in a moment. Uh, resonance pylon. We would take that out. I don't like having it there. I've got a funny feeling that leaving that standing is a bad move. At best, I could only do four here, and then um, uh, terminals up next. No, I'm going to go for the gar. Well, it's not guaranteed, but it's a high chance that we're going to take it out. There we go. Right, you can't do anything. What are you going to do? Oh, you took a shot instead of trying to bail. I was expecting flight. Interesting. Very interesting. Terminal coordinates with nearby unimpaired allies will grant them an immediate bonus action. Um, three turn cooldown. Could I actually? Oh, I can work with Verge. Huh. Well, that's an interesting one. All right. This is such a powerful ability. Actions available. Well, I've got a good chance of doing some decent damage there. Uh, I've also got... Uh, yeah, well, we may as well just go for this. What on earth was going on there? Verge? Verge, calm down. Calm down, Verge. It's okay. It's okay. It'll be fine. Oh, my lord. Now, let's get a bit of a heal on you. High tech spray is doing its work. Okay, who are you gonna go for? Tyranny. That did not matter. That was a. I don't know what that would have done, but that was a dumb move. Super dumb, in fact. Right, we can't use this because of disoriented. Yeah, that's a big shame, actually. All right. Well, we could bail and take another shot. You're up next, so I. What I really don't want to do is, is be here for you just to attack me. So, yeah, let's uh, move over there. You're now exposed. Got a chance of a crit, and if we can do it, you're down. Ah, damn. Just shy. Just shy. That's okay, though. On the plus side, you actually did move in quite a lot there. Uh, I could... Oh, I could release the bind, but really there's no problem there. Let's sustain the bind. There we go. One crunch. There we go. Oh, and you panicked as a result of possibly taking out a psionic that, um, unit, but that worked out so well. That could not have worked out better. Literally could not have worked out better. All right, let's get a kinetic shield. Shields up. There we are, mate. I can't get to the other one. I might have been able to stun it, actually, if I uh, thought to, but... Let's try and take you down if we can. A little bit of damage. Not enough, though. You're getting a very high charge now. That's fine. We dodged it. For the most part, we're fine. All right. Uh, at this point, I'm actually f fine with that being where it is. We could try and bring you close to down, or we could go for you. I could even reposition to be in a better better location for this attack. If I moved over here, I would have a flanking attack, and that uh, brute does not get to go before the rest of my team does. So, flanking attack... 56% chance of a crit here. Nice work. Did an okay bit of damage there. 
Sorcerer immediately teleported. Now, what are you going to do? I'm going to go for talk. That's fine. Oh, no, you went for Cherub. Never mind that. Right, now they get their chance to move. That seems to be a reactionary um, response. I, I'm not really sure what, what these icons are. I really don't know. We're just no longer disoriented. Good, 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 good. It looks like we've lost all of our... Um, the effects there, unfortunately. I guess I could go for Battle Madness on the route. I mean, you should be particularly susceptible to this. Maybe it'll remove your Overwatch as well. We'll see. I mean, there was an outside chance you would have landed that shot, so it was worth taking, I feel. Shall we go for Mind Play straight away? Sure, let's see how much damage this does. Three damage straight up, that's not bad. That really isn't bad. Right, talk. Uh oh, talk's still panicked. Well, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? I cannot reach anyone for an attack. That is a shame. Such a shame. Right, kinetic shield on now terminal then, because terminal protection. is way out in the open. But if we're lucky. Maybe I'll take this down. We've got a 67% chance of, of neutralizing. There we go. Very Button nice. Down. And Verge still has the neural link because they're down, not dead. Um, who needs a bit of a heal? Who needs to heal the most? Let's go with. Let the high tech spray do its work. Talk. There we go. I didn't ask for this. And yet, you got it, because your teammate care about you, whether you want to believe it or not. Teammates. Maybe mate, actually, considering how much of a scallywag you are to most people. Still. Not bad, not bad. Still, still managed to uh, hit a grace. And that is an awful place for you to be. You're basically like a, a codex. You have an automatic response to danger. Right. Well, let's move up. Can't do anything wrong over here. We not, might not be able to do anything wrong here either. But no, no, actually, we've got, a, got a, a shot. Go for it. There we go. Well done. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Only, well, three people have got a little bit of uh, health loss, but it's not all. Elevators have been out for decades, so you get to take an alternate form of transport to the top. That is your soften the blow voice. It's an anti-gravity <laughs> sled cobbled together by squatters during the occupation. Mildly exposed to the elements. Well, mild to moderate exposure. You'll be fine. Right. Right. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Why do I not believe you, Whisper? Uh, enemies are harder to hit, yeah, but there's only three. Uh, surprise. Successful shot on enemies during the breach will stun. That is very nice to know. Vanguard. First unit through this entrance gets plus one to armor for the encounter. Well, it's always going to be Cherub through first. Then it's going to be Talk with the Hollow Scanner. Then it's going to be Terminal with a Refresh, because that means only... Well, actually, no one, I think. Uh, I think everyone will be fully healed. Either that or one person will have one hit point down. But uh, well, actually, let's, let's switch around Verge. Uh, well, we may as well use a med patch, actually. And terminal. Sure, we'll use that one. Just a double down, just in case. Now, this is where we find out whether... Ooh, there's no reason for us to to risk it. Let's just have breach fire. Because I don't know if the healing mode will mean that uh, that you don't get to shoot. I would Reaching hope in. it doesn't, but you never know. Hold up. Take your medicine. There we go, yeah. We're good. Throw in grenade. Excellent work talk. Okay, we've got an arc on. We have a resonant. We have an acolyte. We have a codex who will be stunned. We have a brute who will also be stunned. Okay. Who's the best chances? Uh, let's go for the codex with you. Next up, we've got a resonant over there who I wouldn't mind dropping toxic greeting on. Uh, the acolyte over there. 
The brute down here. Now, I don't know if Toxic Reading is going to stun. So, rather than waste this, we're going to go with the Resonant. I think. Yeah, let's go for the Resonant. There we are. Okay. Next up, we want an attack on the next hostile target. The Codex is already stunned, so let's go for an attack here. Yes, I could levitate, and yes, I've learned my lesson. Uh, oh no, that was particularly bad luck. Particularly bad luck. We need another attempt, please. Go for it. Now, the levitate is 100%, which is, you know, it would remove the aggression, even if it doesn't move the stun. Right, resonance pylons all over the place. Okay, we need to take those things out. Okay, we've got to get over there, I take it. Alright, let's have a look around. You're stunned, which is good. You've got stupendous amount of armor that I really, really, really don't like. Codex is up soon. Um, then it's the Archon, then talk. Now, I don't imagine Torque's going to be able to deal with the Archon. That's my worry. You need to take down these these uh, resonant thingamajigs. Let's drop a shield on Terminal, as you're probably the more exposed of the group. Kinetic shield, please. Also, since we're here, I may as well pull Verge up. Let's get Verge right to the top. Alternatively, I could pull... Mm, no, Talk, I'm not going to pull you up right now. I am going to pull up Verge instead, because Talk, there's not a lot of good options for your specific set of abilities here. Now, we've got a set of explosives there. Got another set of explosives there. Both of them are outside of my range. This might actually take out the Brute altogether. By the weapon. Both of those go down. Yes, perfect. Okay, so that's removed one potential issue for me. Right. Let's see. Who can I get Battle Madness on? I can get 100% Battle Madness on a Archon. That is surprising. Mind you, I guess Verge is actually quite powerful. Um, Battle Madness on the Resonant. You've got a rifle. You can do a decent amount of damage. You may do it to the to the codec. It might not be the best thing. But... Oh, that's such a shame. That would have been genuinely so good. So good. If I use Mind Flay now, I would take out that resonant. But I'm more in favor of going for a stupor on 94% on the codex, really. Um... Sure. Adding the codex to the, the network would be quite nice. Resisted. Ah, that's a shame. Okay. Psionic bomb. Unfortunate. You managed to hit three people. And this does mean Torque is going to have to move, which is a pain in the bum, but it is what it is. Thank goodness you missed. I'm also going to have to enough ammo. move uh chair about that to a rather precarious position he, that he finds himself in. Is that a window or is it a mirror? It's a mirror as far as I can tell, yeah. Okay, so we want to be far away from there. Who's up next? The Resonant is going to be up after the Acolyte, which is all the way over there. I can probably get to the Acolyte from here. I might be able to grab them, but the Resonant will be active. The Resonant will take a shot, and will almost certainly do some damage. I could get all the way in here. I wouldn't mind taking on the Acolyte, honestly, but... Because uh, I can't do anything to the Archon with Torque's ability, and right now Torque can't do anything but use her ability, so... I'm going to go for the high cover in here. Let's go. Let's hope that you can grab someone. I can still use Poison Spit, actually. 
Should have borne that in mind. Would I be able to take both of these things out? I might actually, you know, be able to take both of these out. I might hit the resonance pylon and, and destroy it. I would hit the resonance pylon over there. I don't know if this is going to be your turn over. Let's, you may feel let's a see, slight though. sting. No, immune to poison. I was hoping that it would just do guaranteed damage, but alas. I thought, like, the, uh, the kind of force of the spit might do some sort of damage, but no such luck, unfortunately. Right, two damage there. Bit of a messy engagement based on things I don't know. Zerker moved in Psy Domain. Great, I'm out. That was not a good thing to see happen. I'm gonna be honest. Right, I want... Kind of want... Can I not get uh, Verge up and running? No, I can't. Okay. Cooperation on... Oh, no, that is Verge. Right, okay. Yeah, let's get cooperation on Verge. You got two people in the psionic network. I could go for Battle Madness on someone again. Or I could just try and knock both of them down. The, the Codex would take a lot of damage from this. I believe you're outside of the range of this bomb. Can't be certain, though. But let's go with Mind Flay. This will actually preserve the sec the uh, Resonant. It will just be unco uh, unconscious. Wow, that was shielded. Okay. But we've kept it in the psionic network, which is ultimately what I wanted. This is unfortunate. I do have to make a move out of here, though. Get out of range of that bomb. It's not a particularly good position, but it's the best I can do. Right. You're shielded. Okay. So, yeah, the codexes are not particularly good psionic targets. I kind of knew that was going to be the case, though, let's be honest. What are you doing? Oh, did you just give the Archon a turn? Oh, that's not, not fun. Darn it, no ammo. Uh, yeah, so this is not great. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I could drop a, a shield on Torque, and Torque will probably avoid any big damage incoming. Let's drop that Protected shield on from all angles. Because when they get slammed back down into the ground, this is gonna hurt a bit. Now, I need to be out of this area. Unfortunately, the... Oh, I didn't consider that. The only way to be out of that area t is to go through the fire, which is not really something I want to do, I'll be honest. Right, let's get over okay, here. Okay, I'm moving. Move or die! We've still got guard. Alright, I need to not be there anymore, so let's get... On the way. Verge on the way, You'll out of that uh, nasty area there. I need to stop that lift if I can. Uh, you are exposed, but not enough. Let's go for battle mad. I can only hit one person with battle madness, really. That's unfortunate. Still, might be worth it. They may take a shot over there. So go for battle madness there, please. There we go. Right, who are you going to attack? Return to nothing. Nice, a critical, but uh, didn't do enough damage, and it's going to clone now. It didn't actually work out to the best for us. Going to be honest with that. What are you going to do? Congregating in this room—that's not terrible for me. And for all the world, looked like you wasted a turn. No, you didn't. Never mind. You didn't double move. I'm out. Again. It's fine, Verge. It's fine. All we need for you is to deal with this Acolyte. Um, which you can probably do from here, I'm going to guess. It's possible you might not, but... You you didn't actually lose your shield because we cancelled the lift, which was nice. Codex I can grab. The Sorcerer. Acolyte, please. 73% chance. Come Don't here. Flub. There we go. Perfect. And bind, please. Just go to sleep. Crunch. Nicely done. Weapons dry. Yeah, I know, I know. It's okay though. You can't get into that 
mess there, unfortunately, for fear of the damage it'll do. Because uh, whilst Torque is absolutely immune to it, you <laughs> do not have that luxury. Uh, I think through here would probably be a safer location for us to be. And we can get there in one turn, so I can drop a safeguard on Verge for now. Uh, sorry, uh, the Torque is immune um, to that poison. I think I said Verge was immune to it. If only. Uh, but with that, you can still get to some pretty high cover. And you should be out of the way of explosions. I'm not entirely certain about this. But let's see. Poison doing its work. Sorcerer's like, yeah, no. I'm out. Wreathed in silence. There we go. Got a nice big uh, boost to Cherub's shield. Very nice, thank you. Right, here it comes. Didn't explode. Just like uh, Skylances instead. I heard a bit. Oh man, I'm out. It's fine. Can I drop the shield on? I can drop the shield on you. Fine. Go for it. Armored up. We're just going to have a mono a mono against this Archon. We're going to do a good chunk of damage. Let me try again. Reducing profile. It can't do any damage to you. In a sing in a one on one fight, Cherub will win. What did you just do? Oh, you no stupid. more ammunition. I'm never gonna be able to break that thing at this rate. My goodness. Okay, I need to not be there anymore. Being over here should I be good enough. Make it there. Good, good, good. Oh, the talk's gonna have to get out of there, which is annoying. Have I really only got the? Oh, okay. I guess go for the stupid Your on it. Your mind falls away. Oh, there we are. Shut it down for two turns. Next time I use mind play, we'll probably be able to finish off both of these now. Ah, uh, that is a shame. You're still alive, but There's never you will be ammo. dead very soon. So I don't much mind it. Uh, you are actually up next, though, which is kind of annoying. I had hoped to be able to deal with that, but uh, no. All right. Need to move out. At least somewhat. Let's get over here. Do we leave the Acolyte there? I don't think it would be particularly useful. Don't need that codex. Can, really? Can I not? How can I not grab them? That makes no sense to me. Alright. I guess I could just pull them out and, and crunch them where I am, but I would much prefer to take them down, really, but they're going to be exposed to them no matter what happens. Uh, unless I throw a flashbang. Uh, Disorients all hostile targets in the affected area. Hmm. Might be the only thing I can do, realistically. Cause damage to friendly? Well, what do you mean? It says it doesn't affect friendlies, but all right. Look I'll into the light. On. Go towards it if you really must. Immune to mental effects. Oh, well, that's worrisome. Well, disabling one of you is better than disabling none of you, so sure. You're just not getting away. And bind. Should have just gone straight up to the sorcerer and bound them, but oh well. It works. Great, I'm out. It's okay. Right, Cherub's got the Archon, but Talk is about to have a lot of nasty times with the sorcerer over there. Can I get this over to talk? I can. Then please do. Okay. Switching it between Verge and talk. Now, can I reach... I can. Well, that's useful. Do it, please. Plunk. Oh, dear. Well, we've still got decent cover, actually. Oh, 
That was a good, good pistol shot. You broke the door. Nope. Denied. Again, Cherub, one-on-one. -on -one, will win any melee fight. Darn it. No ammo. It's okay. You don't need ammo, Cherub. You're now amazing. That's protection. It is indeed. And now you're going to smack it in the face once again. Such an invisible ability. All right, what are you up to? Well, first and foremost, you're exploding something, but uh, then what's next? No ammunition remains. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I can mind flay to take out oh, quite a lot of people, actually. Uh, go for the mind flay. Pump. There's never enough ammo. That is fine. Now I could drop poison spit and then tongue pull and then, you know, just add insult to injury, maybe. Yikes. Now tongue pull. There we are. Whilst they're disoriented from, you know, hacking up a lung because they just did exactly what Tork said and breathed Don't deeply. Struggle. Junk. There we are. Done and Weapons done. Dry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I, I want... Cherub to have another turn, Go. please. Go now. Oh, yeah. Can I actually take you down? Yeah, I can. I made the arrest. Indeed you did. Right, I would like you to reload. We've still got to start the generator. Which tells me there's going to be a, another oh, man. wave I'm out. after this. Which I'm not particularly happy about. Reloaded. Okay. Start making your way over, over there. there. Let's make sure that everyone is in the best Never possible state before we. No uh, ammunition remains. We do this. Reload. Weapon ready. Take out this, please. Should have done that a little while ago. But I'm it's out fine. again. It's fine. Reload. I'm good. Thank you. Take it out. Perfect. That, was that the equivalent of a talk roar? I like to imagine it was. Right, let's get this uh, heal on Cherub over there. This place is a mess. Need a little help? You're the best. See, that's how you say thank you. Uh, thank you, talk. Right. Uh, I guess just Overwatch for now. I'll shoot anything that moves. Thank you. I'm filled with confidence. Uh, okay. Not sure if you were being sarcastic or not. Get all axon units to the anti-gravity sled. Agents on anti-gravity sled. Okay. Uh, we've got a bunch of reinforcements heading in. That's actually okay. Can I get a sight on anything? No, I can't. So we may as well just start moving then. Birch, I want you to be rather sharply not there anymore. So let's go. Crossing yeah, I'm going to have you in range though to use that one uh, sees Overwatch. You. Can't see th back there, so we'll uh, Overwatch in this direction for now. Um, honestly, even though we'll be somewhat exposed... Slithering! Let's just try and get as close to our the point as we can. No summons coming through, so. Who wants to be my target? I'm glad we didn't try to do this we with loads of enemies one. around. There we go. And I don't think anyone else needs help, so let's just Overwatch. Okay, three new. Thrall, he's already down. Fantastic. Okay, you're out in the open there. Oh, actually, no, it was only two units. Fair enough. Let's move as far forward as we can. Could we actually get you? Possibly. Sure, and we'll make a good bit of, of distance, and we'll do a chunky bit of damage to him. Okay. Let me try again. It's okay. No, you did. You did good. Now, I could probably take you down. Two to three, but we'll still be really close to our exit point. 
Still going to be reinforcements, but honestly, if you did two, it wouldn't be too bad, yeah. Because now Tork can do exactly time. the same thing. And we're all that much closer to the anti-gravity sled. That was definitely a Shame case where we resist. wanted them to, to go down like that. To, to not go down in one hit. Uh, we have got reinforcements on their way. So let's at least have one unit in position. Ready to take him on. I'll do. Got you covered. Anyone come Only through this door? A better shot. Nope. Wow. Talk. One day she's not gonna put the insides back inside. You know it. I know it. We all know it. It's gonna happen. There we go. Right, we should all be able to reach this, even if we can't. Turtling. Terminal can. Uh, terminal can just get out. We have to get all units here at this point. There we go. I'm fine with you going into preparation. See how she floats. It's fine. A little bit of an extra charge there. And you are gonna get a shot before we're we're out of here, which is a bit bit of a pain. So maybe Oh damn. Don't quite have the range on it. What I can do though is use torque to pull Watch me terminal move. through. Hopefully. Hopefully you still have sight on her. Yes you do. Perfect. You owe me. Whee! <laughs> that will never, ever get old. That is amazing. Up we go. Roderick's exposure equals full exposure. Duly noted. Oh, that sled is noisier than expected. The progeny must know you're here. You heard him. Try not to get shot off the building. Yeah, yeah, that would, that would be wise. Okay, so this, we don't, oh, three encounters here. Ooh, okay, well, now, you know where it's coming. It, look, it doesn't even have to be a Dark Avac playthrough for you to know that what's about to happen is a cliffhanger. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, you're going to have to tune into the next episode to see the conclusion of this mission. Ah, oh, that felt so good. Uh, I, I feel a little bit guilty about how much of a scallywag I'm being. Just a, a tiny, tiny bit guilty about how much of a scallywag I'm being, but hopefully you are looking forward to the conclusion of this mission as much as I am looking forward to playing it. But that is going to be it for now. So until next time, and as always, do leave a like if you liked, sub if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time. Take care, everyone. <laughs>